What's up, YouTube? Today, Sagra and I are going to be playing Ultimate Chicken Horse on the Nintendo Switch, and we're going to be having some discussions about self-improvement topics. We know this is a, a bit of an interesting uh, niche. A little change of pace, UCH and self-improvement. The idea is hopefully uh, you guys will have some entertainment as we discuss, and maybe it'll feel kind of like those Huberman Lab clips <laughs> where you have subway servers in the bottom. Interesting discussion on the top. So just a quick rundown of the game. Basically, for Noah and I, uh, we get pretty intense in this game. You place obstacles and you try to get to the end of the objective without uh, dying or first. Yeah, here we go. Obstacle number one. So this level is especially interesting. You'll start over, I don't know why I just pointed it. Where it start, says start. Where it says start on the left. And then you gotta run over here to the goal. And obviously, and not obviously, there's gonna be a wave that comes through that's gonna try to knock us off our path. There's the wave. wave. <laughs> a saga surfing. That's gonna cost me. Nah, you're chilling. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. The monkey is drippy, bro. Yes, sir, look at that <laughs> dance. All right, so self-improvement topic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about, I think I always think of when we played this game, the, the first time we played this game, and that was freshman year of college sure. in our Wasaja dorm. And I like <laughs> yeah, I mean, comparison, like, I feel like I'm such a different person um, than I was when we first started playing this game. I don't know. That's a good point. Like, where do you think you've changed the most? Ooh. I think prioritizing long-term dopamine more is probably, that's kind of cliche to say, but that's definitely the biggest thing for me, I feel. Yeah. Like freshman year, the vibe was just, let's get lit, <laughs> which sure. is fun, but. It's college, right? Yeah. You kind of do that a little bit and then you learn pretty quick, I'd say. It's like, oh, it's it's fun in the moment. And then at some point it's like you get more satisfaction from doing things that don't have that short-term short -term presence fix yeah, yeah short-term fix i think is good like it's nice to get lit with your friends you know go out have a good time and then you don't really feel great the next day that's a downside for sure yeah <laughs> but um i don't know if you look at it in the long term it's not very cumulative but if you're like doing things that i guess are more fulfilling then you can constantly reap the benefits of it i don't know does yeah, that make sense that makes a lot of sense I feel that. Oh my goodness, I got slapped, bro. Oh, both of us? Let's go. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so as you guys can start seeing, the game starts getting a little bit harder. It gets more convoluted as you go. Yep. And uh, I guess the first levels are easy, the later levels are hard. But when you get to the end in an obstacle course where it basically looks impossible, it does feel better than when you just run down. I don't know if that's a, a worthwhile <laughs> analogy. I think I kind of cooked there, but. You did kind of cook there. Yeah. Similar to real life. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate chicken horse comparisons to real life, man. <laughs> it's true. I don't know. I think that's a, a valid statement. No, I think it is too. It's funny. So Sagar Patel, he is a current full-time software developer. Yes. And he's also um, a part-time student. Yeah. And also someone who's trying to prioritize his fitness and has prioritized his fitness for a long time. So... I guess one of the questions I was going to ask is Ooh. how do you prioritize and fit all of that into, oh my gosh, your busy schedule. Let's <laughs> go. No. <laughs> no. Did you get postmortem? No, no I don't. Okay. I got cooked, man. I almost got that. <laughs> uh, that's a tough question. You know what? It, it does make me want to think a little bit, but sure. yeah, it, it's definitely a lot and uh, I wasn't sure if I was up for the challenge because I don't know if it's necessarily... Um, feasible or <laughs> a good idea but Fair. i think you know you hear this is like the the political answer is like oh you, everything needs a balance right like there's work there's school and there's being healthy and you know i'm someone who also wants to be healthy as i get older in um in age and absolutely if i stop now in if I stop now, then it's going to be hard to sort of make a comeback again in, you know, if you let your fitness go. So my thought has always been like, hey, even if it's not an everyday thing or if it's not a, you know, go to the gym or at least get some sort of activity in, whether it's like you stretch, you do yoga, you go lift. Um, sometimes me and my work friends will go play soccer, we'll go play football and any form of just being active, I think, lets me 
take a step, however small in that direction. And so if I can't make the time to go play soccer, go lift, then I'll get, I'll do some, uh, shout out breathing flow yoga. Fire. Um, thank you to Noah for that. Absolutely. And that's like, even if it's like, oh, it's, this is hard you, to do. You keep setting up the flower and the flower keeps smacking. I know. Yeah, continue. This is hard right to here. it's hard to do both. It's a good exercise <laughs> in uh, focus, but it's like ADHD. Ah, oh, three turns left. Got to set one. <laughs> it's a good exercise in ADHD. Okay, I've lost my train. No, you're good. <laughs> so um, the last time I saw you, you said you were trying to do three leg days yes. a week. Yes. Is that still? I'm on one leg day this week, okay. unfortunately. Oh, that's not unfortunate. Yes, but that's um, more than my zero <laughs> this week. You've done zero. I have done. Zero. But you've been training for your. I have been training for the Ironman. What'd you hit uh, today? What'd you do? I biked for an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, wow. I ran at cross country practice before we start and um, did a chest day. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's more than what I did today. I shouldn't have posted that. That's part of the game. <laughs> yes. It's part of the mission. We're from, kind from of now on the, the part of the mission is to have this conversation. Oh, you got it. Well played. Will he get the coin? No, he's just gonna get the no, coin. no coin. Oh, I can't do that. I gotta get. I gotta get in first. Yeah. So if you make it to the end, you get points. Yeah, as you just saw, there are two turns left now. I need to get a coin and a win without Sagar finishing. So that, is that possible? That'll be a challenge. And obviously, I could be the person who says puts this right here, so no one can actually win. But um, we're gonna make it doable. We're gonna put it here instead. Uh, yeah. I appreciate that, sir. Yeah, yeah, of course. We, we, we've never really played just screw everyone else over. I know people that do play like that. But it just makes it less fun, it's in kind my of opinion. Frustrating. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I've been trying to do three leg days. Um, reason being, I don't know, I feel like I hit chest and back a lot just because I like doing them um, more. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bro, you're cooking. <laughs> Um, Sorry, because I like to, me, <laughs> because I like doing them more, um, but I think it, it's a bit of like a mental thing to be like, okay, I'm gonna do leg day. I want bigger legs, um, and I do subscribe to the philosophy that strong legs means you got a strong foundation, which means mm -hmm. everything else will be stronger. I like that. Um, so yeah, trying to do three leg days. I didn't succeed this week. I did one leg day and two days of playing soccer. So I kind of count each of those as half a day. It's more cardio, more uh, sure. Not steady state cardio, but like... Right. No, honestly, that's the best way to do cardio. Yeah. If you're playing some sort of game, I think it's so much more enjoyable, which just makes you way more likely to do it. I might try to stay up here. Oh, it's smart play. That was a 100 IQ play. I tried right, I'm going to wait for the wave to go by, maybe. 1,000 IQ play. Sec is there no There's no other wave, right? Oh, my God. I have a chance here, y'all. Oh, I didn't realize the wave. Was there's a, there's another wave. No, rip. Sagar's gonna win this one. Yeah, well I'll take I'll take game GG. one. Sagar's the ultimate monkey. Well done. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. I also do think that like I don't know, cardio or playing soccer is like a functional use of your legs. Obviously, mm. you're gonna be using a lot of your leg muscles in any of that activity. So do you, do we want to do jungle temple? Yes, jungle temple. I don't know. It's functional. I feel like I use my legs. So if I'm training my legs one day and I'm using them the other day, I think it works out. I think the mind muscle connection gets better. I think you get used to using yeah. your legs in different ways. Um, and I think that's the thing with lifting. You don't want to like be too stagnant. I think it's important to change it up. So there you go. That's my excuse for why I didn't hit legs. Three times <laughs> this week. But I still will continue trying. Um, that's a good goal, man. Like I have a hard time hitting legs just because that next day is so difficult yeah. for me. But I guess you kind of get past that in anything. Like running at first for me was really challenging the next day. But now I'm at the point where it doesn't really hurt to run. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a runner and it does hurt to run. And I think that is one of my bigger hurdles to run in. I ran yeah. like maybe a couple of weeks ago. I ran about a, a mile and a half, two miles maybe. Okay. And then the next day, oh man, <laughs> it was not fun. I was like, wow, what did I do yesterday that they got my legs like this? Oh yeah, I ran. Yeah, it's, it's rough. Yeah. Okay, to explain the gist of this level, it's like Indiana Jones. Once you grab the coin, there's a boulder that comes out of the thing's mouth, and you have to beat it to the end. Yep. So, Noah, go for it. All right, yeah. We'll just alternate who gets the coin, because if you make it to the end, you get an extra added yep. thing. I don't even know if it's possible without... Or is it? Have we... 
Oh, it is possible. Oh! Oh, wow. I Tough break for Saga right off rip. Because it's just going to continually get harder. So that oh, I, I got lucky there. I should have claimed my points. <laughs> that is unbelievable. You should have some, like, projectile hit that so you can randomly yeah, hit the like cannon. That. Let's talk about the fact that Noah hadn't lifted the first time we played this game together. He used to not go to the gym. This is true. And, uh, yeah, I think it was, like, maybe... March of freshman year that we went to the gym together for the first time. And, uh, also true. Yeah, I, I stayed the same weight, and Noah's now 180, <laughs> 190. Yeah, like 185, 190. There you go. You did not stay the same weight. Okay, maybe, maybe like 10 pounds more. All right, here we go. A little tidbit before we continue. <laughs> A little nice little tidbit. Oh, no. All right, we're, we're tied it up. up now. Tied it up. I feel like I've gotten to the point now where I have a hard time thinking back to the beginning of my weightlifting or the beginning of just trying to improve myself in general and like just being happy at how far I've come from that. Like I have a hard time getting satisfaction from that. Like now it's like, I don't know, I almost see that as a different person than me. Yeah. So it's like, well, yeah, like, obviously, like, I'm in better shape now because that person was just such a loser, <laughs> I guess. Oh, my bad. No, you're good. I take no it. Let's go, let's go. We hold that thought. Never mind. Nope. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Do you, like, are you, when you look back on that, are you, or I guess not when you look back on it, in that moment, in that scenario, like, what was your mindset on, like, what lifting or just getting more physically fit could fair. do for you? Yeah, well... It, it was kind of a frat approach, to be mm -hmm. honest. It was okay. like, let me get more girls. <laughs> let me like, I don't know. I was always the skinny cross country kid. So part of it was kind of like a chip on my shoulder to be like, I'm just going to get yoked. Yeah. But then like. That's fair. I feel like a lot of people start yeah. lifting or start working out because they want to um, be like. Improve the physical appearance. Yeah, physical appearance. But then. When you when you start doing it long enough, you're like, you know what? I'm not even like doing this for anybody else. I, I'm just doing this because it makes me feel good. Yeah. And then I think the motivation sort of shifts from being like, oh, yeah, I like, look, I'm trying to get abs. I look good <laughs> to like, oh, I feel good. When right. I wake up in the morning, my joints don't hurt. My back doesn't hurt. I can yeah. go do the things I want to do. If we want to play football with like my friends, I can, I'll be out there and run the right. whole time. And once and that Sager's starts happening. freaky athletic at football, by the way. <laughs> He's fast as hell. That is not, he's faster than me. That's glaze, but he's, he's, he's glazing. He's glazing. He's faster right, than me. I'm gonna take the coin this time. Go. Oh, you missed it. I'm not gonna take the coin. Oops. All right. Ah. Oh, I keep jumping directly into that fire. That fire's gotta go. Okay. The the reason I brought up football is because no one and I are gonna play pickup football on Sunday, and it should Indeed. be fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna race you if we play. Okay. I'm I done. think you you're definitely faster than me, but right. if I, I want to know by how much. If I end up posting and editing this video, and if. We end up racing. I yeah. will include that clip right here. <laughs> Clearly, I won. This would be our second race. There's the stair race, and the oh yeah. But the stair race that, that never did that ever come out on your YouTube channel? <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. You know what? That'll go in this video right here. So we found yet again another set of stairs in on this beautiful island in the middle of Lake Blood, and we decided we're gonna race up it. So let's see how this goes. All right, ready? Set, go. No one by about five stairs. Yeah, like two, honestly. I'll send the clip over. Oh, okay. Fire. Ready, set, go. I thought I was you. <laughs> oh, I just got snuck. That happened to me. I thought I was you. You threw right. each other off. I think we have to explode some things and make it a bit okay. more doable. We're taking that fire out. Honestly, this is quite challenging. If you're not a, like a... I feel like it's. I can't think in two different tracks at the same time. Yeah, it is difficult. This is like I kind of like it though. It's fun. I hand-eye coordination, <laughs> and like, but also I. The another part of my brain is thinking about what to say. It's a very interesting challenge. <laughs> the playthrough or the, the, basically what has seems like a podcast episode. All right, you're up. I shanked the last one. Oh, that was a crazy <laughs> run. That was insane. We were That's chasing a highlight them. run. Oh, man. Highlight run. That, you know the most viewed thing that shows up on YouTube? That's that moment right there. It's cracked. It's clickbait. 
Dude, we were both skirting right at the edge of that ball the entire time. I felt it. I, I, you know, like when, you, when you're doing something, you feel like a shiver. That's what that felt like. Not really. It's not that intense. <laughs> the, the locked in state, what do they call it? Flow? Flow state, yeah. That's what do that was. Do you feel like you've achieved flow in coding? Probably. Ooh. Ooh, or, that's a, or anything. It doesn't mm, necessarily have to be. Not, that's, you know what, that's an interesting point. Um, I don't think so with work. Okay. Because it's different. But if I'm like doing something on my own, sometimes I will, yeah. I think it's quite difficult though. I think you have to become like really, you have to build a routine or build like a state around where you, you achieve that, you know? Yeah. Um, do, I feel like you probably feel that when you're like biking. Yeah, probably at this point. Yes. I did, I did in YouTube videos sometimes. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. But that was mainly in Europe when I needed to get the video out the next um like whenever i'd be traveling i would edit and finish the video and then post it when i got to the next city i feel like noah <laughs> didn't know the train rides happened no i actually didn't and it was clutch when we were going together because otherwise i would have just like <laughs> he was not gotten he off was at the right stop in be like, there's bro wake up like we gotta go <laughs> there's footage of noah so locked in like on, with his laptop and then like me i would just be dozing or like reading like on my phone that was the two things that happened on our train rides yeah those videos got edited. As you guys can see, if you go to my channel, <laughs> currently we are in... Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> we are maybe in... Oh, we just finished Dubrovnik, by the way. So the journey's still going. If you want to re, <laughs> re-catch up on what happened, wait a few months. We're actually still in Europe yep. on Saga's channel. <laughs> Is it you or me? All right, that's you. Go for okay. it. We got a lock in here. We got to give the viewers what they came for. Oh, I got... S nice. No! Oh, no! So, that was so close. So, bro. Oh, am I in the lead? I didn't even realize that. With the coin dub, yeah. Let's go. Get the coin last time. I feel that when we play this game, we typically just make it so difficult to get to the end. Yeah. But for us, it's fun because we're trying to find the intricate little path that you can make. Sometimes, though, it... Um, it becomes impossible, and then we're like, oh, yeah, we got yeah. to do something. Who is it, me? Yeah, I think so. All right, ready, set, go. It also, like, weirdly becomes muscle memory at some point. Yeah. If, that's like, <laughs> the main memory. flow of the route level is the same. Yeah. Um, but the things where there's, like, timers, like the tennis balls or the arrows, I feel like they always throw me off. Um, oh, yeah, so my question to you. Sure. Is... <laughs> Recently, you've I feel like you've transitioned from being a more so like lifting focused, um, strength training focused to a cardiovascular um, athletic focus. Absolutely. Now, can you sort of explain why that happened yeah. and what feels different? Sure. Um, less interest on like just physically looking bigger because mm -hmm. I've gotten to the point where I just don't really think that that's like as fun or cool <laughs> anymore, I guess, yeah. is one way to put it. Um, but also just in general, trying to feel and be as healthy as I possibly can. Okay. And I think cardio for me does that. And in general, I just feel so much better all the time. And the challenge of the Ironman, I think, is really yeah. exciting for me. If you haven't, I mean, obviously, if you're watching this video, you know, or you don't know. Maybe you don't. Maybe you clicked on this video and you're still on it. Great for retention. Thank you for still being here. Yes. <laughs> Go watch the video on Noah embarking on his Ironman yes, journey. Yes, I started Iron. Uh, started training for the Ironman, and it's been a challenge so far. I'm starting a full time job soon, and that will also be a challenge. But you're gonna learn. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm excited for like locking in for nine months on a specific goal. I've never really done that before. I feel. Yeah, like. I feel I, like. I guess college, you lock in for four years in quotes i feel like there's some there's some there's some room for there's some wiggle room yeah right in college um but like ultimately the re the result of the iron man is just going to come down to how consistent i am over nine months and that's exciting to me I it's think. a direct translation i feel right and there's no way you don't come out with a better like personal discipline than after training for this yeah. iron man because this is going to require you to go to work Come home from work, fuel your body consistently. Yeah. Um. Sorry, got to lock in. Well done. Fuel your body consistently and continue training for the Ironman. Yeah. So like, there are so many hours in the day and get enough sleep. Right. So 
you're gonna have to become the like the best time manager and on top of that also just like lock in so hard i don't know yeah that's true it's definitely gonna be a test absolutely and i i think that's what's exciting for me yeah. about this specifically but also just being in better cardio shape is so much fun from like uh being able to play football for a long time yeah that on point and i have this like <laughs> My Garmin watch will tell me my VO2 max, which I don't know how accurate that is. Mm -hmm. But when I first got the watch, it was 48, and now it's 52. And, like, every single time it goes up one, that dopamine hit is huge for me. But, yeah. again, like, that, like, small jump feels so much better now than, like, the long difference. And I have a hard time, like, remembering, like, uh. how much unhealthier I was, right? Like I was addicted to vaping freshman year and I was just not healthy at yeah. all. That makes a big difference. I feel like you should, are you tracking the metrics for like your Ironman training video? Uh, metrics and what? Like what your sense? VO2 max, your resting yeah. heart rate? Okay. I'm trying to. Yeah. Okay, and then if you do like a day by day, you can have it on there like, hey, Mar I mean month one. Okay. Yeah. This and then month two. I feel like that'd be super cool to watch. I like that. The health analytics are so fun for me. Yeah. I rock with that kind of stuff. You're up. Okay. All right, this is the last one. Sagar just took the lead in the last... Uh, last um, inning. So I, last I, I really need to lock in for this. Oh, I hit the bees. Oh, I almost killed... Oh, he's got a chance. He's got a chance. Oh. I don't have Pain. a chance. Pain. Pain. Well done. Thank you, thank you. I feel like you'd be a good... Did I already say that? Good podcast host? A good podcast Dude, host? Dude, do you remember when we were in... Uh, was it Berlin? Where I asked you the... I asked Sagar the same question at lunch. I forget which city it was in. We were on our Europe trip, and like I asked him the question, and then five minutes later I asked you the exact same question. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, oh, that was, <laughs> I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I don't remember what the question was though. It was so funny though. The you get so tired when you're backpacking. It's yeah. Such a random tangent, but. So that was the moment in which my camera hit its recording limit, which is rather unfortunate because we had another 40 minutes of conversation and I didn't realize that the video had stopped. And when I initially figured that out, I kind of wanted to trash the video because part of me felt like that second half of the conversation was better than the first. And the reason I'm not trashing the video and the reason I'm still posting it is because one thing I've been working on is trying to let go of my perfectionism. And I think sometimes I get so wrapped up in something being perfect or great or close to perfect and it gets in the way of just creating and putting something out there that's just good. And hopefully you thought this video was good and that the conversation was interesting and helpful to you in some way. If you did, let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate some sort of feedback. But if you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you want. That's going to be all. Peace out. Thanks for watching.